Okay, so what I'd like to show you here is um, we're not going to focus on the different types of razor. We're going to focus on the blade itself and the fact that the blade has a left and a right or it has a front and a back of the blade. Okay, so basically when we look at the blade here from this side, you can see all of the blade itself. So when we turn the blade over the other way, you can see the actual definite guard area on here. Now, if the, the razor is put, so this is, let's say this is a razor which is going to be used in somebody's right hand. So at the moment, this, uh, this blade is the wrong way around. And the reason is, what we need to have and we need to take into account is the fact that we have, let's say my fingers are the hair, and then we have the blade on this angle. So you can see that we've got the fingers here, and then we have, or sorry, the hair is gonna be here, and then on this side, we have the blade. So again, if I turn it all the way around, you can see that we've got the blade area here, and then when, when it's background, we have the guard on this side. So if this blade was applied into this razor, inserted this way, it would go hair, it would then go blade, it would then go guard. And what that means is it means that the blade itself is unprotected from the guard and therefore the blade would cut off all of the hair or a lot more hair. So if we just kind of move over now to looking at the two razors, so again identical razors, one is on this way and one is this way, providing, sorry, showing you a left-handed razor and a right-handed person using the razor. So you can see here for the left-handed one, if we just lift this up, you can see all of the blade on this side. So it, it would mean that the hair would be here then the guard is on the far side of the blade, so that would protect the hair from the blade. And then this side is where we see all of the blade. So if I just turn this around and let you see, so as we turn around, you can clearly see that the guard is on this side of the blade. So again, when the razor is turned back and used in somebody's left hand, it will be hair, guard, and then blade. So if this was used with somebody in a right hand, you can see that if we turn the razor over, you can clearly see the guard is on this side. So as the razor is turned back round, it would be hair, guard, blade. So the basic general rule is that you, as the stylist, want to be able to see all of the blade. You don't want it to be this way, where when you look at it, you see the guard closest to you. The guard needs to be furthest away with you looking at all of the blade.